This is Boxing Tickets NI in association with SB Sports. We're here in Galway and we're here with the Galway man, John Cooney. John, obviously I want to start with obviously how you special is it? They obviously fight in Galway for the first time. Oh, it's unbelievable, yeah. I never actually thought that this would happen, to be honest. When I started out as a pro, I didn't ever envision fighting here as a pro and to do it on a show like this, it's amazing. You, you obviously were able to fight in London last time out as well. Galway Street, Galway obviously is your home now as it is, but you've, there's not many fighters could sort of when they've been in London and been in Galway, get to do it back to back. But the crowd obviously loved that tonight. I thought you were sensational from start to finish. Um, a tough, tough man you had in there. But, but I guess that's what you want to do. You want to be able to show exactly what you have when you're on ESPN and Boxing Social. Yeah, no, look, he was really, really tough. Um, extremely durable. I had to laugh at some points in there when I was hitting him. He just kept saying, thank you, thank you. Like, as if to say, yeah, but look, it was a good, it was a good, it was a good performance. I boxed well, but... I don't know, I hurt my knuckle in the fourth round. Um, I was trying to, because he had such a good tight guard, I was trying to come over the top and round the sides. And when I was coming over the top, uh, I hit him clean the top of his head with my knuckle and I think I've done a bit of damage. Hopefully it's not too bad, go get it checked out. But um, yeah, what a tough guy. But um, that was a good performance. My first fight at eight, over eight rounds. I'd done the eight rounds comfortable. I could have done another two. When I started kind of relaxing a little bit more towards the end and just boxing and moving, just jabbing him because my left hand was killing me, it was just so easy, you know, I was flying through the rounds. So, yeah, all in all, it's a good experience, you know, these are the things you have to go for as a pro. What, what would you sort of, you know, when, you, when you're showing the full repertoire of what you have and they say your first eight rounder, your energy, you know, you could have probably went 80 rounds, you know, and the energy you seem to have just kept coming and coming. What would you sort of rate that performance tonight out of 10? Would you sort of... Would you sort of like the stoppage or the fact that you knew he was just a tough guy to put out of there, you used a good eight rounds? I always want the stoppage, I would always like the stoppage, but sometimes you have to face facts that some men are just too tough. And Sandeep was just too tough. I, I, I you know, fucking, I give him his fair dues. That man, as you know, he said to me after, thank you, at home, you know, he's from India, at home, I have no money, I fight for my family. Them boys are fighting for something else, you know? He's got a fight next week. And if he got stopped tonight, he couldn't fight next week. So, them men are hard to stop. They, you know, they're very hard, very tough. Definitely, journeymen, journeymen get obviously great respect because obviously they help you build your trade obviously in the pro ranks. You, you've obviously taken two good opponents. Gervin Mend Mendoza, obviously you fought in London, fought here again tonight. You have a two good, two good gradual step ups. Where would you like to go next? Another eight rounder? Or would you maybe like to start looking for a belt? I don't really know, like, not that I don't know, I know what I want, I want titles, I want big fights, but obviously there's a process, like, as you can see tonight, I've still got a lot to learn, you know, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, I'm nowhere near where I should be and stuff, so, I don't know, I'm just going to keep working, I leave all to Mark Dunlop, my manager, he's getting me great fights, he's putting me on good shows, he's moving me around, he's doing his job, I'm getting in there, I'm doing mine, and I think we're going to go to the top. So it's just about a bit of patience, you know, this pro game is, you know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You, you obviously have an opportunity where obviously some would like, so, you know, Mark and Love obviously gets the best for his fighters. You know that obviously opportunity is going to come, you just keep, the, keep, probably just keep focused on what you're doing in the ring and let him take care of everything else on the outside. That's exactly it, I leave it at that, like, that's exactly it, you know. Oh, there's no point in me saying, oh, I'm going to do this and do that. Let Mark manage it, let me fight, let's go. And obviously the celebrations the rest of the weekend, what's the plan? Are you going to eat plenty of dirty food? To, um, obviously enjoying, I guess, getting back and spending some time with some people there as well. Big bar of whole nut is going to get at in about five minutes. And then I've got to go to work tomorrow morning, so not too mad tonight, but I'll go for a few beers tomorrow and relax, yeah. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time as always. And um, we'll catch you up very soon. Thank you for everyone tuning in and everyone supporting. I appreciate it. And to my sponsors as well. Dan, getting here for a second. Big shout out to my sponsors, Turnkey Proppy, Athletic, uh, Athlete Clinic, Ard Seal, Melted, Harry's, Porterhouse, Flow Recovery, uh, Gigas, all the sponsors that helped me out, it means a lot. Thanks very much for your time, John. Thank you.